Hello, dear friends. May God bless all of you. May the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the one who called us, who chose us, that we would go into the whole world and preach His word and preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, the Holy Spirit, who is the same Spirit, the same Spirit who guided our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He also today guides His servants, all those who make themselves as servants and they submit to His word, all those who think as He does, then all of them, all of them have the right, they have the right, it's a right acquired by our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary when He said, it is finished, he meant exactly that. Everything that I, God, the Son of God, everything that my Father does or, or did through me, it's finished. It is done. And whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Meaning, he who believes in me, and believes in the work that God, my Father, has sent me to do, he who believes in me will be saved, Jesus said. And when he said it's finished and completed the work of salvation, he said it's finished to the work of healing, of deliverance and transformation of life. When he said it's finished to the work of of restoration, then he died, was buried, and in the third day resurrected. And right after having resurrected, he went to his disciples, to his followers, those who believed in him, those who believed and those who believe in him, he went to them and said, Go throughout the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go through the whole world, preach the gospel to every creature, every creature. He who believes, obviously, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. By the way, is already condemned. Those who don't believe, they are already condemned by themselves. They are condemned by themselves, condemned by their doubts, their fears, by their disgraceful ways. They've been condemned. However, when the person hears the word of the kingdom of God, as one day I did, and I believed, and I believed, and I was baptized, then I was saved. And then the Holy Spirit came to possess us and to continue through us the work that He, Jesus, did there on Calvary. Not only myself, obviously, but all those who believe. And I am one of these people, one of those who believed. So if you believe in the Lord Jesus as your only Lord and Savior, if you believe that He is the Son of the living God, if you believe that He is the only Savior, the only one who redeems our soul from hell, and you are baptized, it's not enough to believe. 
you have to also be baptized. Otherwise, Jesus wouldn't have said that he who believes and is baptized will be saved. He could have said simply, he who believes will be saved. No, he said, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. So, it's a habit in people, unfortunately. It's the, the habit majority of people have, which is to believe in Jesus just for the sake of receiving the blessings, the material blessings, divine healing, deliverance, prosperity, a good health, a new life, and so on, a, a, a new lifestyle. So they believe in order to be blessed, but they don't believe to the point of dying in order to do the will of the Lord Jesus. They don't believe in order to become a witness of His here on earth. Because to be a witness of Jesus just because you received a blessing or healing it is not enough. We have the example of the ten leprous men. All of them had faith to be healed. They were healed. But just one came back. The other ones went their way to live their life. Meaning, those nine lepers believed enough to be healed, but they didn't believe to surrender and sacrifice their life for their faith, for their belief in Jesus. Only one came back. And this has been happening a lot all over the world and throughout the generations. Therefore, dear friend, it's not enough to just believe in Jesus. You have to be baptized. It's like the belief, a belief in Jesus. It's not the trivial love that we see in this world. Oh, I love you. Oh, yeah, I love you too. So let's get married. No, no, we don't have to get married. We don't have to be committed to one another. Let's just be together. Let's just live and see how things will go. So this is not to love. This is not love. This is just a person seeking for their personal interest. It's selfishness. Or oh, let's be together as long as everything is okay. But if there is a problem on the way, then we part ways. Meaning that this is how many people have been believing in Jesus. They only believe in Him to be blessed, to be healed. Not really blessed, but to be healed, delivered, because blessed is only when the person receives the Holy Spirit. As long as they don't receive Him, they are not blessed. They may have been delivered, healed from this and that, and prospered and so on, but as long as they don't have the Holy Spirit, they were not blessed. Because when a person believes in the Lord Jesus and is committed to Him, they commit themselves to Him. They make a covenant with Him. They marry Him. They make a covenant with Him, a pact with Him. Then things change because then they receive the Holy Spirit and obviously they become a living witness of the Lord Jesus here on earth. Because you don't see Jesus, you don't touch Him, you don't feel Him. I don't see Jesus, I don't feel Him or touch Him, but I am sure that my Lord is with me. And my words, when we speak the words from God, when we preach the word of God, in the Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, then these words touch deep down in the soul of those who have ears to hear. And therefore, these words make the difference. My dear friends, it's not enough to believe. You have to be baptized as well. Because a belief without sacrifice has no value at all. It becomes fanaticism, it's just an emotion, it's from the heart, it's a feeling, it's just emotion, it's cheap talk, it's useless, that's the reality. But when a person truly believes 
and they get baptized, they want to get baptized, I want to die for this world, then they are making a commitment to the one with the one who commanded us to baptize those who believe in him. That's the faith. So many people who are watching us right now, I'm sure the Holy Spirit reveals me that right now many people who are watching me on, over the internet are people who are watching us for a very long time. They like the words, they like the message, they like the idea, the thoughts that we pass on to them. However, they do not want to commit themselves to the author of these words. They do not want to commit themselves to the one who gave life. And if they do not want to make a commitment to the one who, who spoke, who promised, who said these words, the Lord Jesus, is because they don't believe in him. Because if they did, they would then embrace this faith in a practical way. They would die for the world to live for him. This is the faith, dear friend. Whether a person likes it or not, it's not a problem. This is the word. Go into the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. That's what we are trying to do. All the work of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God is fundamented upon this faith. Go into all the world preaching the gospel to every creature. And when the person believes in the gospel, the gospel is what shows the birth of Christ through the Holy Spirit, the life of Jesus through the Holy Spirit, His direction through the Holy Spirit, the death and resurrection of Jesus. And then the Holy Spirit comes and makes those people who believe and are baptized to be witnesses of His Son here on earth. And this way, the gospel will be passed on from generation to generation. And it's been passing on throughout the millenniums to those who believe. But who believes? These are those who are baptized. Did you understand, dear friend? He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe, Jesus adds. These are the words of Jesus. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And each one has to decide their life for themselves. May God bless you then and make you understand the purpose. Make you understand His plan for you. Because God does not want for you or me a mediocre life in this world that is filthy and disgraced. No, He wants an abundant and eternal life with Him. Eternal, meaning that it's never going to end. There will be no old age, diseases, no sadness, not even memory of what we've lived here in this world. This is too strong. This is too strong. And when we are there with Him, that He will come to take us, and this will happen soon because we are seeing all the signs. Once we are there, we will have no memory of what we lived down here. No way. We won't remember our parents, children, husband, wife, family. We will remember nobody. There will be joy and the eternity of joy and pleasure in the presence of the Almighty. May God bless you all then in this faith so that all those who believe may be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in deed and in truth. I will see you tomorrow, and may God bless. Soon I will be here working, fighting for the souls here in our beloved Argentina. May God bless all the people from Argentina and everyone who has believed and opened their heart for our Lord Jesus Christ, for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you then once again. In the name of Jesus, and I will see you tomorrow. Amen.